welcome back to another video on this channel. So today I will be doing an unboxing video for Freya's Cauldron for the July, yeah, the July unboxing. Um, I've had this for a bit. Um, I have been away at the start of this month, so it has been a little bit delayed um, in getting this video up and filmed. So I do apologise for that, but it is here. So with this box, um, I'm quite nervous to see what's actually in this one. Um, the previous box was a little bit more of a disappointment, so I do hope that this one is a little bit more interesting, exciting. I do feel like the last few boxes have been a little bit disappointing in the full context because we haven't been getting as many, um, as many kind of collectible things in there. There's not been as many unique items like before. We've had the Sabbath balls and we've had the goddess plaques and things like that. And the last few we've not really had that many exciting things. I've liked some things but the whole feel of the box is just a little bit different. I can see why things might have changed with things so I'm hoping this one might be a little bit better. If not, I don't know if I'm going to continue with the subscription which is sad. So I'm hoping that this one is much better. So we're going to get into the video with it. So straight off, this is actually different to how it used to be before. So before you just have the stuff stuck on the top there. Um, I'm pretty sure we've not had it like this before, but it's actually got tissue paper and a little bit of a seal on there. So once that's opened, it just opens up into the rest of the box, but it's a much nicer display piece. And there's something very interesting there as well. Um, that I've just caught some glints up. So we have the Book of Shadows pages. So we just come in the envelope. We've got a little sheet with everything that's in the box. This one. Um, it says this box is all about healing and self-care. Something we all need at times. So we hope this month's box will be helpful. Okay. So we've got some healing oils, candles in there, we have a crystal and our information sheet, some other information sheets for things to do with other things in the box, so I'll have a bit more of a thorough look in it. So the thing that I just saw was this, which is a goddess sheet for Bridget, which, does this mean that we're going to have some more goddess plaques? Interesting. So we have an information sheet for Bridget. Um, so similar to how we had of the goddess plaques, it's pretty much the same layout and format, so interesting. Next thing we have is a personal well-being spell bottle. Which has a little bottle. We've got a herb sachet and a pink candle. Yeah. We've got a little spell for there as well. So this is quite interesting. Quite like that. And then we have a rigid healing ritual. Which has a green candle and then we need pin oh the Bridget deity plaque so we must have a Bridget deity plaque as well um and just the bits for the spell there so obviously this one is connected to Bridget which seems quite interesting I like that quite like the sounds of this um so we also have a rose quartz no not a rose quartz I'm inventing things a rose love a rose love heart bath bomb. Yeah. And it looks like that. It smells quite nice. And then we have a crystal. So I think this is like pre night or something like that. Um I can't remember how exactly to pronounce it, but I think it's pronounced something like that, which is quite cool. And we had an information sheet about that as well. We have another herb blend, which this one is the spiritual 
healing herb blend. I do like the herb blend but I would also like to see some individual herbs in here as well because I do like having the individual herb jars because then you can refill them and reuse them. And then this is a little bit random. I've got a little pouch with some love hearts, a Tetley tea bag and a tea light. Not sure why I've got love hearts and a Tetley tea bag but let's see what this information thing here tells me about. Time out bag. Take a little time out of your... Oh god, I cannot speak today. Take time out to enjoy a little treat on us. Light the candle, make a brew with the enclosed tea bag or dr a drink of your choice. Sit and relax to enjoy the drink while the calming candle burns. Finish your time out with a little pack of Love Heart Sweets to energise and prepare for the remainder of the day. It's kind of like a nice touch, but I don't know what I wouldn't typically drink a Tetley tea with Love Hearts, personally, but we'll see. Um, a bit random, but okay. Um, we have some more spell candles, so we actually have four in here five in here can't count um the previous box we actually got less candles and i did see other people did comment on that as well um which is a bit stingy um but we've obviously got the spell candles in the pouches and then we actually have the five here which is really good so i'm glad that they've gone back to this um kind of was a bit mm, i was a bit peeved by the fact that we didn't have same amount of candles as we did normally get in other boxes as we did last last month but definitely happy that they've improved on that this month we've got some spiritual healing incense smells okay um i've not had this one before so i don't know what it's going to be like but um i have had other ones from this brand i generally like theirs so we'll see uh, i've got another oil this one is a spiritual healing oil I don't know why I smell them because I can never decipher what's in them. It smells alright, smells quite nice. Do you like the oils? And then I think we're going to the final thing in the box. And that is this, which is the deity box. It hasn't mentioned about starting that up again. Uh, like the, the goddess deity pack so I don't know if this is just like a one-off or if they're going to kind of do themes around certain goddesses and not necessarily do it as a theme of, I don't know whether they'll do it as a theme around the goddess or if they'll just kind of do them intermittently through the year but it looks like this which I really like so this actually makes me quite happy because Bridget was the one that I was kind of hoping that we get in the previous collections um, and I was kind of sad that we hadn't got it because um, I had my Freya one and Keridwin. The only kind of one that I was missing was Bridget, so I'm very happy that I've got Bridget. So, definitely like that. She will be going up on my altar very shortly. So, overall, I did actually prefer this box now. I am much happier with this box find this is a little bit random with the tea and the love hearts but otherwise I am much happier with this um I still think there is some more room for improvement I don't feel like the feel of the box is quite the same as what we used to have um but I'm glad that we've got the candles and I'm glad that we've got the deity plaque so I'm glad that things are kind of starting to like resume kind of a normal sort of style um, I'm glad we didn't have any notebooks in this one because the notebook in the last one it kind of was a little bit rubbish um, like now I'm actually thinking about it I've not even used the notebook and I don't even know if I will I find notebooks in things a little bit annoying so I'm glad that we don't have any of that again um, and yeah I think I'm hoping that last month's box was just a little bit of a blip and that we should hopefully resume more nicer fuller boxes this time so let me know what you guys think of this box um, um and your opinions on it um especially if you 
um, saw last month and depending what you thought of last month, if you think this is an improvement, if you think there should still be some new imp more improvements, um, I do hope that we have more of these kind of plaques and the customised, um, not customised, but the more like unique um, exclusive items. I definitely prefer those kind of things. Um, but yeah, I will see what's going to be in the next couple of boxes and then possibly decide after that, maybe decide at the end of the year um, whether I still want to subscribe to this box or if I want to swap and change to a different one. So um, yeah, overall still okay with this box i'm still gonna keep um um as a subscriber but um i'm definitely and more focused and interested to see what's coming in the next few boxes and decide from there so um thank you for watching this video i'll put all the information in the info box below about um like the prices and everything of this box and links to everything if you are wanting to have a look at anything from this brand and everything but Thank you for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.